My name is Armando Litiaco. I'm the chef and owner of FOB in Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. So when you say Filipino barbecue, it really is skewered meat, either chicken or pork, and it gets marinated in 7-Up and garlic and soy sauce. The Americans brought over ketchup, and from what I hear, from what I read, there was a shortage of tomatoes in the Philippines, so they substituted it with bananas, and it just stuck. So we use banana ketchup. Like, American barbecue has a base of ketchup, so the flavors are not unfamiliar. A little sweet, a little tangy, smoking. That's definitely street food. You know, like a little kiosk type with a little grill on the street. Or you cook it yourself. It's family, family gatherings, picnics, backyard barbecues, that kind of thing. The pork ribs is something you'll find cooked in different flavors and forms in the Philippines. I do mine with the homemade banana barbecue sauce that gets slathered on top. We take off the ends, turn it into a St. Louis cut, and then to that we put San Miguel beer, onions, garlic, carrots, bay leaves, lots of tomato paste, a little bit of oyster sauce, and lots of soy sauce, no salt, because it, you know, it'll dry it out. Get sprayed for about two and a half, three hours until it's fork tender, and once it's like kind of settled in, then we'll portion it, and then we grill it and baste it again and again till it gets that like lacquer that kind of sticks to the top of your teeth, sticks to your fingers, a little char on it. The skewers, we use pork and we use chicken. You just marinate them overnight and then you grill them. Be careful not to over grill them. Don't cook them too much, they're just super soft and tender. And that's it, they get basted again with that Filipino barbecue sauce. So inasal comes from the Visayas of the Philippines. It's chicken marinated in lemongrass and ginger, garlic, and vinegar. And then when it's grilled, while it's cooking, it always gets basted with annatto butter. And we just baste it again and again until it melts on there. When you serve it, it should have some of that annatto butter. So you get that like kind of butter component with a little acidity from the vinegar. So say pork belly in Philippines is liempo. We make ours very traditional. We put in onions and garlic and soy sauce and a little bit of vinegar and it marinates. It goes on the grill. We try to keep a nice balance of meat and fat, meat and fat ratio on it. And then we serve it with a chili dipping sauce. <laughs> Filipinos are crazy about their food. In like any culture, I don't wanna say it's Filipinos, but like in any culture, food is the center of your occasions, right? It's really food you find in the house, so they're very passionate about keeping the flavors the way their mother cooked it or their grandmother cooked it. So these are like things that my parents cooked in the house. And I always say, and I tell my cooks, at one point in your career, you'll go back to what you like. You will. You should learn and you should cook many different things to get that experience and to get that knowledge. But at some point you will take that knowledge and you'll cook what you crave, you'll cook what you want to eat. And for me, honestly, it's Filipino barbecue.